Uh, I'm back home again. This isn't actually my home. This is my garage, but it's part of my home. Uh, I film videos in here when I'm home, um, just because there's nobody in here. It's quite nice. I can be quite loud and no one can hear me, which is nice. And um, yeah, I'm back home for Easter. Uh, I've been working actually throughout the Easter holidays here back home um, in the holiday camp shop that I tend to work in during the during the summer and Easter breaks, which is nice. And yeah, it, that's why I haven't been uploading recently. So I'm sorry for that. Sorry for the lack of content. But today I'm going to speak about asexuality and how I believe that the statistic uh, that 1% of uh, people are asexual is false. Um, I believe that there's a lot more than that. I believe it's, um, although 1 in 100 people is still quite a bit, you know, 1% um, of the population doesn't sound like much. But if the population is 7 billion, 1% uh, of 7 billion is 700,000. Uh, which is a lot of people. So to say 700,000 people in the world are like my, you know, like me, an asexual is is amazing. You know, I, that really doesn't make you feel that much alone anymore, does it? Um, but I think it's more than that. And the reason I think it's more than that is because, um, because of the lack of awareness, because of uh, the lack of validity and acceptance of asexuality. And I'm going to highlight some of the reasons why that is. Um, uh, I think it's more than that for starters because one, the amount of people that come to my videos and see my videos, message me, comment down below, message me on Snapchat, follow me on there, send me messages saying, right, Alex, I'm I'm 24 years of age, shall we say? I'm not 24, I'm 19, but this person may say that they're 24, and they said that they've only just found out what asexuality is. They've just found out that they're asexual um, through like watching my videos and through searching it online. And without that, and without like typing this in, they would have never realised that asexuality exists, okay? But they would have defined as that, for sure. And there's so many people that will define as heterosexual um, because they don't, you know, instead of heteroromantic as a subcategory of asexuality, because they just don't realise that asexuality is a thing. And they just think that perhaps they're not into sex as much as some people, or perhaps they think there's just something wrong with their hormones. And that they just don't have as much sexual desire. They're still heterosexual. They just don't like, you know, they're just, yeah. Because to a lot of people, there's, like, people, some people will accept that there's, like, three main um, sexualities. And that's all you can define as. Being heterosexual, uh, homosexual, and bisexual. You know, I talk to people, especially one of my flatmates, actually, that's quite convinced. Well, not convinced, but, um, you know, he... he he still stands by the, the fact that there's these three main sexualities and the other sort of a subordinate and just uh, are a way of like gaining attention in a way. Um, you know, some people believe that for sure. And, you know, that's, you know, they're wrong, but, you know, that is a belief and you've kind of got to respect that. And, and I'm, I find it interesting to see why people believe that for sure. Um, for sure and you know it's why why the reason why people believe that you know certain people do make up these sexualities uh, for attention is you know somewhat valid like listening to some um some of the reasons why my flatmate believes this um because it just does you know some people that define it as, as this are sort of like teens who like may ch change their sexuality to all these different ones like every week which just seems a bit weird I get that's not for everyone, and I get that's only for a small minority of people. But what you were saying was so so true, and with the evidence for it and stuff, which you know kind of puts a you know subordinates these sexualities and makes people like my flatmate believe that these sexualities aren't real. So that's fair enough. Um, which is one reason why you know people there are people more people who are asexual. Uh, they just don't realise it or they just define as heterosexual because they just don't realise it exists or don't believe it exists anyway. That's number one. Number two is because there's no like, um, it's, they all kind of link in, but there's no like celebrities that are asexual really, are there? Or aromantic or anything like that. Um, you've got your celebrities that are like uh, gay, like actors like Neil Patrick Harris and, you know, people like that. Um who are gay and people just look up to that and just uh, feel inspired by them and 
Um, you've got people like Stephen Fry as well, and then you've got like big YouTubers like Tyler Oakley and stuff who are who are gay, and they just put off this such such a positive image of it, and you know, you know, get people younger people especially to say I'm proud to be like this, and I'm you know I'm gonna come out, and obviously that and you know more gay people are likely to. Um, come out because of it because they give us this positive image and but yeah people like really like Stephen Fry people really like Neil Patrick Harris and perhaps you know if you're young and you're and you think you're gay and stuff and you are gay and you're, you're afraid that your friends may not be accepting of this and yet they like the Stephen Fry's and Neil Patrick Harris's and you know watch YouTubers like the Tyler Oakley's um then they may be you know more inclined to come out and be because they feel that their friends will be more accepting because they've seen all of these gay people around and you know th it, there's less and less stigma attached to them which is absolutely amazing and the fact that the world has become more accepting of, of sexualities other than heterosexuality is absolutely amazing and I think that's something really to applaud um, as the generations and the world has progressed and technology has progressed and yeah globalization and stuff like that it, it has we have become really more accepting towards homosexuality which is absolutely fantastic and the things like for example civil civil partnerships and gay marriage and you know the fact that the legalization of that in countries all around the world nowadays is absolutely amazing absolutely fantastic and i think that's amazing you know and i think that hopefully over time that will become the case for minority sexualities other than homosexuality and things like asexuality and stuff and if there were celebrities imagine just imagine if there were like celebrities or big youtubers um who were asexual and people could actually like see that this was this real thing and it actually meant a lot to them that people accepted them for who they are rather than making up their sexuality and i think you know if there was a celebrity like that or someone yeah to spread the word shall we say um then I think for sure, for sure, the percentage of asexuals will increase. Not because people would see that person and say, I want to be asexual now, because obviously sexuality isn't a choice. But I think people would see that and say, huh, that sounds a lot like me. I've never really liked sex. I didn't realise asexuality actually existed. But then seeing that and just, you know, realising it's actually a real thing. And the fact that, you know, role models are like that or people who could spread the word out because sure I can do my best in spreading the word out which is what I always try and do and I'm spreading it to more and more people every day but you know I'm still not big in a sense that I can't spread this message to the whole world and although there's people every single day every single day and I mean every single day that come to me send me messages saying I've just found out I was asexual because of your videos you know that's more and more people realizing every single day if this was a bigger channel if this had perhaps 10,000 um, subscribers instead of just a 1,000. Um, not that I'm saying a 1,000 is bad. I'm so, so happy that I've got 1,000 subscribers. I've got you to all to thank for that. But I'm saying that, you know, imagine how many people then daily would come to me and say, wow, I've just found out that. And that is why there is definitely more than a pe percentage of people in the world, um, just 1% of people. There's definitely more than that. In the world who are asexual for sure and i'm convinced i'm 100 percent convinced for sure and what you might say you know how come there aren't any celebrities um who are asexual there may be there may be celebrities who are asexual but again they might be just like the um, majority of the population just unsure that it exists and just think they have a low sex drive and just define as heterosexual because it's it's easier <laughs> Um, in a sense, you know, if they came out as asexual, say a big celebrity came out as asexual, just think of someone like, say like a like Ed Sheeran, for example, just came out as asexual, as, as asexual out of nowhere, literally nowhere. Um, you know, he would have this, he would be the asexual, although he's huge, absolutely huge, he would be defined as this asexual museum, 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 musician. Um, because there is no one who's like, there's no one big that is asexual. So he'll be saying, oh yeah, Ace Echeren, that's the 
people will know him as the huge singer for sure as well. But like, oh yeah, he's a, yeah the ex, the asexual one, and whether that's a good or a bad label to be attached, it's kind of like in today's society right now, it's not a great label to be because of the way society perceives perceives it and subordinates asexuality. I can understand that a lot of celebrities wouldn't want that label, especially if they're the one that like the asexual celebrity. Because that's not a not nice well, it's fine. It's a it's a fine label to have, you know, I don't mean be I don't mind being defined as it, but because that that's what I am. But I mean to some people it's just because of the way the population perceives it, and only because of that way, not because of um the traits that these people have. Um but because of the way society perceives it, it's just not a nice feeling because we are subordinated, shall we say, in the sexualized world. Wow. I'm sorry, this, this video is very passionate and very, I probably talked a lot of nonsense as well and I'm really sorry for that. If I said something that was wrong, you, you probably know I didn't mean it really. And I said just a lot of stuff that just came out, you know, I don't really edit these videos. So, um, <laughs> voice breaking again, sorry. Uh, sorry, I <laughs> keep voice breaking. Uh, my throat's not great today. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Um, I'm sorry that I went off on one. And I'll speak to you very soon.